Hi everyone. Uh, I'm laughing. There, we may in a moment find uh, you. You may hear a giant thud. It may sound like people are moving furniture. It's my dog who is moving furniture. Uh, she has a ball. You may see her running back and forth. Um, it has not been squeaking. A lot of times, once she sees the microphone come out, that's when she'll start squeaking it. So the microphone's not out. I'm talking right into the computer. So hopefully she won't squeak it. Um, but that's why I was laughing. She just. There's a big plot back there. Uh, happy Lunar New Year to everyone. Um, depending on where you are, 4th, 5th, uh, tonight is going to be the 5th here. That's that's our Lunar New Year. Um, we've been in this great energy, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on, what's going to be going on, and kind of what you may be feeling and what we are opening up to right now. Um, I want to start out with kind of talking about, uh, I took some notes. I got a little cheat sheet here. Uh, kind of the, we're moving into the year of the pig. And uh, to me, the pigs represent abundance, right? Fatted pig. And it's knowledge. It's a thirst for knowledge, but it's that knowledge being um, received so that you're no longer thirsting. In other words, it's that hunger being quenched or that thirst being quenched. And so it is wisdom. It is you being able to be in a space where you are receiving everything that you've been asking for. Now, this is where a lot of um, those of you that right now are feeling contrast, um, I've had some very interesting experiences that I'll be sharing once we start CCU. Um, I will be on there in 10 days. Uh, we're going to have a call. Um, I will put out probably the information with this email or the next one that I send out um, around Valentine's Day. And then right after that, I'll be on the blog site to start answering questions. And then we will get started with that March 5th. Uh, still spots available if you want to get into that. Um, that's our really teeny tiny group where uh, I do one-on-one -on -one work with everybody. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but uh, I've had some very interesting experiences and I know other people have as well, um, where things are moving very, very fast. And the more we open up to letting go of the things that uh, from a smaller space, an ego space, where we say, this is what I want. This is how life should look. Um, this is the person I'm supposed to be with. This is the thing I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to, should, all of those words. Um, and we open up and we go, but what do I want in my heart? Is that who I really am? Is that how I really feel? Um, and the more we open up to realizing that we have filled a lot of times the space for the food that we would like to take in, going back to the metaphor of that pig, um, we've filled our space with some other things. And the more we can let go of those things, we open up to this huge queue of new people, new events, new experiences, new inspirations, new ways of meeting ourselves and knowing ourselves. that literally, even when we think that our universe has come into this space of divine harmony or, or divine being, um, it cranks it from 10 to 11. And so that's a space that we're gonna start to work with. We're gonna do a meditation here in a moment that really allows us to tune into our high heart, our highest light self, our, our biggest, widest I am presence, um, allowing that self to start to meet whatever our big goal is for our life. Um, if you think back to when you were a child, um, what were some of your big goals in the world? What were some of the big feels that you have? I'll say that instead of goal, because oftentimes we come into this world with a feeling or we can remember feeling a certain way as a kid, even if it was wanting to find our tribe. And that's something that right now uh, is being so supported um, as we look at our sort of soul family, the idea of the lunar year being the pig. Um, you usually don't ever see a pig by itself. You know, they travel in packs, uh, wild boars. You see, um, you know, so it's this idea of soul family, star family. It's this idea that when you start to align, and yes, there are steps that we take to do that. And they don't even have to be huge steps. Um, it can simply be, okay, I'm going to set aside a couple moments a day to meditate, to get really clear, to know. But when you will actually allow yourself to act on things, a lot of us know when we're touching a hot stove, um, but sometimes we go, uh, that stove feels kind of warm and I like it and it's not burning me too bad. And I don't know, I'm still getting some kind of feeling out of it. And we don't really want to take our hand off the stove. If we will allow ourselves to know that once we will pull back from that stove, once we allow ourselves to let go of the toxicity in our life, we really do start to align with not just our soul family from a perspective of um, our, our sort of higher dimensional soul families and what that means, but we actually start to bring our tribe in, in the human physical form. We start to connect with people in new ways, or we start to meet people that, that share our values. We start to uh, see information that leads us into a new path that opens new inspiration, that, that opens new 
um, places in our heart, places in our soul, gives us revitalization. And so that's something that is really, um, really in a big way right now, especially the next three or four days, going to be birthing in this energy. Um, one of the biggest things that's happening right now is all of the things that have been, um, I'll use the word contrast. I, I wrote it in all caps here. Uh, I said, let's talk contrast. Um, that is not, <laughs> I wrote this too, that is not your divine truth. Contrast, no matter how much you're feeling it right now in the world or in yourself, that is not your divine truth. Your divine truth is you are source, you are spirit in an individuated form. And that individuated form has a thing that we call the ego and the alter ego. And they sometimes bicker back and forth and the ego says, I am separate and I'm going to do these things. And the alter ego says, you are not God, you are not good enough. And the ego just gives us that space where we go, okay, well, this is my definition. I'm going to take these things on. I'm going to believe these things about myself. But ultimately, we have the power to change those things. And when you can really understand that contrast is simply the reminder, the remembrance that, okay, I'm experiencing something that is not my truth and that's why it doesn't feel good. I'm experiencing something that is not in alignment with the integrity of my heart. When you can open that heart and you can allow yourself to make room for that divine inspiration, you can really start to allow new spaces to open up within you. And so what we're looking at for the next three, four days um, and even beyond that, because this moves into the whole of what this year represents, even 2019, is the space where what if whatever you perceive is your biggest block? And just kind of think about what that might be right now. It might be in a relationship. Uh, for a lot of you, I know uh, it's your spouse. Uh, it's money. That's another big one I see a lot. Um, food is another issue. Uh, health, vitality, things of that nature. What if, what if whatever that perceived block was for you, it wasn't there. And I don't mean like they got taken out, but I mean, what if suddenly there was abundance there? What if there was vitality and health and wellness? What if that person that was criticizing you or putting you down or not, you felt like you were unable to, that's my doggy, speak your truth around? What if suddenly now you were able to be yourself? What if it was okay for you, not just okay, but great and celebrated for you to be who you were divinely created and inspired to be. Can you feel into what that might feel like, the freedom that might come from that, and realize that that's not just a contrast that you're feeling from, oh, I'm here now in this space where it doesn't exist, and I'm feeling into this wishful, hopeful energy, and that makes me feel bad. When you feel bad, that's because you believe you can't have that. So just, just for now, press pause on that button in the brain. What would it be like to be encouraged to align with that. See, we, we think that it has to be some big move to align with where we wanna go. All we have to do is simply in that moment is feel it. Feel what it feels like to say, oh, abundance. Whew, okay, that feels good. And so often we go, oh, abundance. Oh, I don't have it. But what if you press pause on that, oh, I don't have it. And you go, oh, abundance. Abundance feels good. Abundance feels nice. Can I let myself be worthy to receive just the energy in this moment of abundance? Can you let yourself just receive in the, in the moment of right now the energy of support and love and nourishment so that even in relationships, so often we think of relationships as uh, spaces of receiving, uh, give and take. What if it was just a space of a cycle where we are constantly allowed to express who we are and our spouses, our partners, people around us are are able to be who they are and we're all able to grow together and I know for some people that's like the brain cells can't even come together to create that so we'll bring a little energy in here we got a little bit of liquid silver energy here kind of looks like water to change the water of how our energy communicates so that we can start to allow that to be and this also allows the new light codes to birth we've been talking on some of the calls uh, going back as far as uh, September and October of last year about new light codes and what that means. And it really means you connecting into your divinity in the physical body. That's something that Darius and I have touched on recently. I've talked about it on a few calls about that you are not here. The idea is not to escape being physical. The idea is to embrace being physical and bring your spirituality, bring your divine nature into that body, embrace it, and allow you to create everything that you want in the physical, in the physicality, in the physical world. So when we talk about raising vibration, and that's really what we're talking about here, we're talking about getting the momentum rolling, we're talking about creating new things. 
And so just know that right now, you are so supported. This energy, again, three, four days is, um, and if you feel it in the form of a squeeze, uh, think of it this way. <laughs> this is kind of a gross thing, but this is the way it came up. I was going to say toothpaste, but it was more like a zip popping because uh, it really is like all of the sort of um, denser energy, we'll call it like an impurity, even though that's kind of, I don't mean it in a judgmental sense. It really is that energy being kind of squeezed out. It's all of the stuff that we've been holding onto from the lower uh, sort of denser ego spaces saying this is my identity I don't know who I am without this or I'm not ready to give this up and that space is now wanting to release and fill with the light So that you can hold more of the light so that you can allow your vibration to raise and so we're going to right now just set the intention that in these next few days and in even the months to come that whatever is in your life that creates contrast for you that keeps you in the denser spaces that does not seemingly from the human mind allow you to open up to divine inspiration, to knowing your purpose, to receiving guidance, to opening up to whatever your gifts are and then sharing those gifts with the world because that's such a part of what this energy is and what this year is all about as well as expression because I've talked about 2019 being the year of abundance. Expression is such a huge part of what abundance is. It's about allowing that energy to flow from you, to share it with the world. And that involves being seen by your tribe. But in order to be seen by your tribe, you've got to align with your tribe, which means you've got to be seen by yourself and align with yourself as well. And so we're going to set that intention that whatever, whatever it may be, that perceived block, that we understand that that's simply an opportunity right now to let that go. And so just take a deep breath. And just allow yourself just for a brief moment to go within and just feel what it would feel like to be fully supported, to be fully loved, to give yourself the gift of play, to give yourself the gift of nourishment, to give yourself the gift of vitality. And not just to gift yourself those things, to receive those, to fully receive them. Meaning you're not just wanting them, you're allowing the experience of having them. Allow your body to feel it. And we'll bring in a little bit of gooey golden light to just swirl through the crown, moving down through the third eye through the pituitary pineal glands. We'll bring the violet flame in as well, moving all of creation, all of that energy of creation, God in action through your being. There we go. As we move through the entire brain, moving down through the throat. Oh, I really feel that. Opening you up to housing the expression of your divine self. Just gonna tone a little bit of that energy. Oh. 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 Just let that energy fill your space as it moves on down through the throat, through the ascended heart, down through the heart. Let it just fill your chest cavity, fill your shoulders, fill your arms, fill the back, fill your entire torso as it moves down through the solar plexus, down through the navel, down through the lower back, through the hips, allowing that energy to move all the way now through the root, down through the legs, I'm going to bring in a, quite a bit. It's almost like a fuchsia energy. It's this kind of electric pink energy of just massive support with tons of light codes. And this DNA activation, this quantum leap energy, allowing you to leap into a new space and really feel the gratitude, the joy, the potential. That's it, the potentiated energy that this houses within you allowing that to move in through the legs all the way down through the feet. We're gonna ground this energy, 
grounding it deep, 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 deep into you, as well as into the multidimensional earth, creating a grid for you. Not a grid for anyone else, not a grid even for the planet, creating your own light grid, allowing Source itself to be all you are connected to, and then allowing that to create, allowing that to be powerful, allowing that to be in alignment, and then grounding in with this planet, allowing that energy to create the energy of Earth, which then allows you to create this energy in physical form, Ooh, now just allow, feel this huge rush of gold energy moving all the way up through your field as it surrounds you, as it moves through you. Just let, let yourself bask in that energy. Let yourself feel that as we bring in a little bit of the liquid silver energy, bringing in some new light codes for receiving receiving abundance, receiving support, for aligning. The words I was seeing were aligning with your future, but that future self is right now. So this is giving you the tools to right now begin to align and align and align, even if it's taking a very small step, even if it's just simply listening and feeling into this energy and allowing that to create the next moment and the next moment and the next moment and the next moment because that's the future. That's the future. So that's the energy that we're in right now. We're going to be in it for quite a while. Um, like I said, we'll do a call. Um, I'll schedule it. I, don't, I haven't scheduled it yet. I'll probably do it right after I do this video. Um, and we will talk about, I want to talk about what love is. Uh, I want to talk about balance and love because I'm seeing a lot of places where people are falling out of balance around love where they're giving they're giving so much and you've heard the experience or the experience you've had the experience probably uh, the expression where you can't pour from an empty pitcher and so many people right now are pouring from that empty pitcher and so we're going to talk about some ways on this call to fill yourself back up because um, that's part of this and this energy that we just experienced is part of that and um, just know that in the next couple of days one of the big energies that that I keep seeing every time I kind of look into that that field is one where um, it, it's, it's a, it's, it's a split reality and that, that's a, that's a, that basically means choice and it's, do you want to experience what it is to give yourself up, to give up your dreams, your future, your now, or are you ready to step into receiving? Are you ready to start creating it? Are you ready to embrace it? Are you ready to let go of the toxicity? That's really what this is about. There's again, this three or four day period there is a big flush and it's just this when i say flush it's not anything severe or scary it's this golden energy that we just experienced it's allowing yourself to be flush with source energy so that everything that doesn't align with who you really truly are your divine truth can start to detach we talk about cutting cords and cutting things and we don't have to cut anything when we move into that divine alignment those things all release and we find ourselves moving into that space. It's sort of a, the universe conspires with our momentum because we are the ones that start that process. Um, so that's what we're, we'll, I'll, we'll touch on a little bit of that. Um, CCU, because a few people did ask about that. So uh, real quickly, um, I've already started on symbols. We're gonna do a new uh, sort of light code activation symbol where um, everybody will get that. Um, I've set an intention for that. We'll do a light language activation with that. There are 30 new journeys. I know a lot of you have the book already. Uh, so if you don't, um, I will, uh, there's a link. You can go, actually it's on my website now. It's jaredhewitt.com forward slash free book. Uh, you can get the book for free. But all 30 chapters have uh, about 10 minute journeys that go with them, energy journeys. Some are, well, they go from six minutes to 18 minutes. Um, there's 30 of them. And I'll put a link in so you can look at what they are. Um, but they are, it's kind of a whole program there that goes for a month. Um, CCU itself goes until February, March, April, May, June. We've got five months. Um, we've got, I've got a, uh, uh, the light code symbols, the um, choose your own frequency track. So like when the 52 uh, week programs come out where I do 
um, musical frequency, uh, and then I do the silent frequency. You can give me like three things that you want to work on, and I will make you your own track. That's something that's been really cool. Um, I made a spray where I use those frequency plates, and I will charge uh, a thing, and I've been using it myself for about the last six, eight months. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to like make those for a while. Um, I'm going to do an energy scan and bio signature report. Um, that's something that I do on myself. I've talked about this on calls before. Um, Caroline shared her story where uh, one of the things that I caught in there was uh, something that, you know, I said, hey, you might want to have that checked out. And she did. And it wound up, um, she had, it was a skin cancer. Um, but oftentimes things that come up with people in their lungs or their, their uh, meridians and things like that uh, are things that uh, it's a neat it's a neat feedback mechanism because people often say well I've been to the doctor and they've told me there's a problem or they will find that and then they find out later that that's been an issue so it's a, a real neat way to to look at the kind of energy of um, you know I believe everything is energy and then it hits our physical body so it's a way to kind of uh, look at what that is and I make a track as well there that starts to help uh, disperse that energy uh, let's see got the weekly live calls so we'll be on uh, every week we'll be doing a call for about an hour and a half Q&A. Uh, we've got our, our website. If you've never experienced a group with me, um, and this one's small. This one, you know, sometimes we have like 1,700 people. This one is usually no bigger than 200. Uh, and even then, only about 80, 90 people get on the blogs. So if you want to use that function, you can. I'm on there every single day. You can ask me questions every single day. I say that, and some of people go, no, he doesn't mean that. And then some people go, yes, he does, because I'm on there every single day. And I ask him questions every single day, and he answers me every single day. Uh, so I do, um, because it's your program. This is something, It's I don't do 21-day programs during this time. This is the only thing I do. Uh, I do one-on-ones with people. So this is a very personal, private group where I get to know everybody, and we all get to know each other. It's a really... Um, it's a really anchored in soul family, soul group. So if you're kind of thinking like, it'd be really great to connect with people who think like me, who, uh, or, or if you'd like to just meet people because you're stepping out into this space, it's a really safe, wonderful space. This is the, I think sixth year I've done this now and, uh, everybody's really liked it. Um, we're going to do frequency radio and, uh, journey calls on Saturdays, three, I think every third Saturday, um, We'll do daily, I'll do daily transmissions. So you're gonna get remote energy work every day, um, which is a lot. Then there is, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to do the energy work. We've got calls, I'm gonna give you the sheets. I've updated the sheets. Um, I already talked about the membership site. There are nine new amplified journeys. Um, we've got transmuting the fear of change, the Andromeda consciousness, law of attraction through light language, anchoring in abundance, uh, 11 portals of change, cosmic creation, birthing the divine. Um, whole bunch of other stuff you can check out. Then if you're new, I've got kind of everything else. There's Beyond Creation, which is nine hours of uh, all the basic material. Um, and then you also get all of the live calls from the membership programs last year. Uh, and then you also get, there's a whole bunch of other bonuses. I'll let you check it out. Um, and it's basically less than the price of if you've ever joined me for a 21 day group uh, at 297. Um, it's all, it breaks down monthly to less than what that is. And we're going to be doing it, uh, for the five months and, uh, you'll get your one-on-one -on -one with me and we'll basically be hanging out every day for five months. So you can imagine how awesome that energy is. So, um, we'll check that out. I'll put a link in here for that. And aside from that, set your intention over these next few days, be very mindful and know that if contrast comes up, just remember, have my voice in the back of your head, your voice, whatever that voice is that says, if you feel that contrast, that is not your divine truth. And then take a moment to breathe and remember your divine truth is that light, is that love. And ask yourself, okay, in the space of all-knowing love, which is infinite, which means that there are no limitations, what does that love do? And so how might you be perceiving yourself as limited? How might you be perceiving someone else as perceiving you as limited? Or, or, or are they perceiving? Start to look at, at life in that perspective. Start to see what's being mirrored or whether you're ready to go and have a whole different experience with a whole different mirror. Um, but just take the next few days to really start to raise that vibration by just taking a few moments. And again, it can be just, you know, smile at yourself smile just by smiling you raise your vibration it's not something that it's not like working out where you have to every day go okay you start here and i'm going to sweat and i'm going to torture myself 
raising your vibration is as simple as I talk about the I'm so excited exercise. You know, I'm so excited that life is getting easier and things are getting more fun for me. And I'm so excited that whatever it is, have a series of things and just feel into what it feels like for that excitement. That's raising your vibration. When you raise your vibration, you literally give yourself a bigger platform. You give that from going back from Jaws, like we're going to need a bigger boat or whatever the quote is. Uh, but it gives you a bigger space to hold the vortex of energy and it gives a, a bigger space for those things to land. So take the next few days to really let those things land because this is going to be a powerful time for creation and 2019 is a very powerful year for that. Uh, so just remember that. And if you're feeling the contrast, just remember that is not your divine truth. So go within and ask yourself, what is my divine truth? And if you get a, if you get kind of a, a haze and you say, ah, I'm not allowing, just move into that baby step of, okay, am I ready to receive my divine truth? And if I am, am I ready to allow myself to enjoy life? Am I ready to know my worth? And we'll get into some of that stuff on the, on the call. Uh, it would be next week. I guess it would. Uh, we'll get into some of that as well next week. Um, but again, and in going into CCU, you know, we'll be talking every single day. We'll also be on the calls every single week. So lots of opportunity to take advantage of the nurturing and the inspiration, and really connecting in, uh, as well as having the sheets so that you can do the work at home by yourself and seeing, okay, you know, what is it in me? What is the core belief? What is the genetic belief? Or what is the energy around me that I'm ready to let go of or transmute or clear? Uh, so check all of that out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share it with your friends. And I will hopefully see you very, very soon, very shortly. Have a wonderful Lunar New Year and even beyond that. Lots of love. Bye-bye.